Hi guys, welcome to Rufio. For today's video I wanted to take a look at some of the relics of the before times. The land before Konami had full control over the TCG and the darkness of the pre-PSCT game. For those who don't know, PSCT or Problem Solving Card Text came into the fold from 2011 onwards. In order to try and clear up the card text to make it more uniform, deal with an absolute shit ton of ruling nightmares and much, much more. Much of this information can be covered in another video if the desire is there, but in the meantime we're here to look at some of my favourite examples of absolutely fucking abysmal card text that I'm partial to having a quick giggle at in my mind whenever I'm feeling sad at watching my opponent's 25 minute board building, hand ripping and all around shaft stroking. It really is a good distraction while I hope to just pray and top deck Mystic Mine. So the first one we're taking a look at is Ultimate Offering. At the cost of 500 life points per monster, a player is allowed an extra normal summon or set. The issue with this card is that it basically reads as if either player can actually activate this card, which is clearly not the case, and we'll show you the uh, the updated text for this here. Not that it's really all that relevant, because the card is banned, rightfully so, and it's never coming off the fucking list. But, yeah, it wasn't worded particularly well in the past. Another classic card here, just making absolutely no fucking sense. Like, in reality, this card doesn't actually tell you anything of use. Like, it doesn't tell you what to do. It doesn't tell you how to fusion summon or anything like that. It literally says, fuses two or more fusion material monsters to form a new fusion monster. Like, for someone who's never played this game before, and they come and they read this version of the card, they are not going to have a fucking clue what any of this shit means. Like, they, what, is, what does fuses two monsters together even fucking mean? Another example of poorly written text, the original Monster Reborn. Select one monster card from either your opponent's or your own graveyard and place it on the field under your control in attack or defense position, face up. This is considered a special summon. Again, there's just so much fucking text that doesn't need to be here. Look at the modern versions of this card, for example. They tell you everything you need to know without waffling on for half a fucking hour about it. Exile Force is another great example of this absolutely nonsensically long text. Offer face up this card on your side of the field as a tribute to destroy one monster on the field. If this card is used for a tribute summon, or this card is offered as a tribute due to other card effects, this effect is not activated. Fuck me! Literally all it does is tribute itself and destroy a monster on the field. That's it. That's all it does. Out of all the top tier, absolutely terrible pre-PSCT cards, Penguin Knight is right up there for me. When this card is sent directly from your deck to the graveyard by an effect of a card controlled by your opponent, UNITE! That's right, you fucking UNITE your graveyard cards and your own deck, shuffle them to form a new deck. In what universe can we UNITE our cards to form a new deck? Another example of amazingly worded cards before the old problem solving card text came in, Mask of Restrict. No matter what the situation, neither player can offer any monster as a tribute. Talk about fucking extreme, they really wanted you to understand that you absolutely, under no fucking circumstances, are allowed to tribute with monsters. And last up we have the Mac Daddy himself, the master of ass-eating Reaper on the Nightmare. This monster is not destroyed as a result of battle at any time, although damage calculation is applied normally. You know, in case you thought that things being destroyed by battle and damage calculation were the exact same fucking thing. When this card is specifically designated as a target of the effect of a magic, trap or effect monster card, this card is immediately destroyed. No delays, you must... If you do not destroy it immediately, I'm calling a fucking judge. This monster can attack your opponent's life points directly, even if there's a monster on your opponent's side of the field. When this card attacks your opponent's life points directly, one card is randomly selected from your opponent's hand and discarded to the graveyard. This card happens to be an absolute personal favourite of mine because it's so fucking convoluted and unnecessarily written, it's unreal, and I'm pretty sure it hasn't had any kind of errata that really fixes this shit. So Konami, please, 
Don't do it. I never want this card to be tainted with problem-solving card text. And that is it for today's video, ladies and gentlemen. Hopefully you've absolutely fucking hated every moment of your life while watching this content. If you enjoy this kind of terrible content, you may want to hit subscribe so you don't miss out on more of this kind of absolute rubbish in future. If you would like to see more of this kind of nonsense, though, of course, let me know down in the comments if you enjoyed the video. Of course, show it by hitting the thumbs up, leaving comments, and subscribing to the channel. All that good stuff. If you're interested in checking out our channel sponsors as well to get some cheap singles, check out Jam Jam Cards UK. A link in the description. And if you're interested, because you're some kind of weirdo and some sort of sign cards that can be arranged for you too once again guys make sure you hit subscribe and i will see you in the next one this content is brought to you in association with my buddies over at jam jam cards uk you can find the links to the ebay store and the facebook page in the description